Pardon? Why is that so? But I don't wish to enter into a contract with you. I don't consent. I can't hear a word you're saying, sorry mate. Can't take my mask off, can I, because I'm in public. But as you know, if I can make it resume... Do you want to step into the office? Yeah, of course, mate, yeah. Sorry, yeah. um, I don't know if you've been spoken to you before or not, the first time I've met you, it's the first time I've been here. We've been sent at the request of environmental health to ensure that you're staying closed, which obviously you're not. We've got to inform you that at the moment Liverpool is under a tier 3 lockdown because of Covid, isn't it? We're about to go into tier 4 as of Thursday coming. You've been, you've been told already by environmental health not to open. You are obviously still open. I think someone came round yesterday and you issued with um, I didn't consent to that though. Right, okay. That's not, that's not my problem. You were given a, a fixed penalty yesterday. Obviously, you're still open now. Are you, are you continuing to remain open? We are. Are you aware of what the government's guidelines are in terms I don't of consent or enter into any contract with the government or anyone. I'm not saying you consent. I'm saying do you understand what they are? I don't have to answer that. Right, okay. Well, the business that you're in in terms of the soft play, unfortunately, that falls under the category of a restricted business that can't be open under a tier 3 lockdown. If you're, con if you're continuing to remain open, beyond all reasonable like, you know, options that we can give you to take, we'll have to issue with another fine, do you understand that? I don't understand anything. I do not, un I do not stand under you, sir. So I don't I'm not, I'm not understand. understand I mean, I'm just well, asking I you understand what the government guidelines are. Well, do you understand that as a, as a result of the government guidelines? I don't understand. I don't stand under well, you. What is, what is it you don't understand? I've just said I don't understand. I don't well, stand under you. I'm not asking you I don't stand, stand under, under nobody. I'm not asking you to stand under me. I'm asking do you understand what the government I guidelines are? I do not are? understand. What don't you understand? I don't understand. Can I explain anything anymore to help you understand? You can't. You can speak what you want. I'm, 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 this is my right to say to you. I'm, I do I'm, not I'm, understand. I'm not here as an individual. I'm not here well, to, I, to say you can't be open. I'm here doing my job, following the guidelines that have been given to everyone across the country. I appreciate and that. I really here, do. I'm not here to target you as an individual or as your business. This is not personal. Well, this is something that we're all, all falling under, unfortunately. Well, we're in we're in a children's play centre. You've turned up in the full attire. Yeah, it's I'm quite daunting. I'm it's quite daunting. I'm imitating their uniform. Well, it's, it's quite daunting it. for children to witness. I don't consent to any contract. I appreciate you've got a job to do, mm -hmm. and I appreciate your time. But I don't enter into any contract. I don't consent, and I don't understand. I don't stand under under you. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, you don't have to. Consent to this because this is a committing offence. You commit an offence by keeping your business open. Am I committing a crime? It's an offence. It's an offence under the tier three restriction. Okay. The, it's the way it's the way it's going to be handled with if you're refusing to close and I mean open it, you'll be issued with another fine. Okay. Well, I don't consent to that fine. That's fine. And I don't enter into that contract. It's not a contract, as I've explained. Well, I don't enter into any contract. That's fine. It's not a contract. Though. Are you the manager or the owner? I don't have to answer that. Is it, is it Mr. Orr, is it? I don't have to answer that. Right. What, well, what, 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 what do you see me as here? Well, you're the one who's asking all these questions. No, you've just asked you're, me. You're the one who's asked us I mean, you in your office. You've asked me the questions. I asked you into the office because I couldn't so, hear you under a mask. Okay, so the fact that you're asking us into the office, I would make it reasonably assumption that it is your business or you are the manager of this business. I I ask, I, you're the one asking the questions, sir, but I asked into the office out of courtesy because I couldn't hear what you were saying underneath that mask. Yeah. So if you want to take the mask off out there, we can take it out there. But I asked you into the office so I could hear you, what yeah, you were saying. That's great. that's great. So it's your office. <laughs> I just asked you what you what you consider me as. <clears throat> We're not here to try and slip you up, okay? I'm not here to try and pull the wool over your eyes and try and have you off in any way. I'm simply here yeah, for the reasons I've explained and the fact that we've been asked initially by Environmental Health yesterday or the day before to come and make sure that you were closed, you weren't. From what I can gather, you've been spoken to on a couple of occasions and explained and asked to close, which you haven't done, which is your choice. 
Aber ich habe schon gesagt, dass ich schon mal bei den Schwarzen bin. Ich habe 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 schon mal bei den Schwarzen bin. I know you don't, you don't consent or wish to enter into any yeah. contract. That's fine. I'm not asking you to do either of those things. I'm just here now because you're refusing to close to issue with another fixed party. You know, just that's all. Well, I don't accept that, and I don't consent. I'm not asking, I'm not asking you to consent or accept it. Well, I'm, I'm telling you what's going to happen. <laughs> um, that's not, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not taking any joy out of doing this way. You know, I, 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 can, I can see you, the, the both of you aren't taking any joy out of it. We're in a children's play centre. Yeah. And I can see you don't want to be here. I get that. But I'm fighting for our livelihoods here. And I can appreciate that. We're, we're, we're writing amongst it. We're on our knees here, yeah. see. And we'll do everything we can yeah. in our power to fight for what's right and what we believe in. That, that's fine. Like I say, as a police force, as individuals, we're not the people who, who create these guidelines, who create these laws, etc, etc, etc. But, 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 but didn't, didn't you take an oath when you when you joined the police force yeah. to serve the people? Yeah. Well, we are the people. I know. But I also have to follow a lawful instruction, a lawful order, which is what I'm doing. Well, on, well, on, on, the, on the way out, would you be able to read the sign in the window before you entered? Uh, I haven't read an order. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Article 61 of the Magna Carta. Right. And I would ask you to read that, That's fine, please. Okay, yeah. And I stand by that. Yeah. Okay. Can I take your name, please? No, sir. How about? Because I don't wish to give it. It is quite intimidating and threatening though when you're turning up. I know it's your uniform, but for anybody it's quite intimidating, never mind children. So I would ask you to have a little bit of feelings and heart and understand the environment we are in. I know, I know the environment we're in, it's, it's plain to say it's a children's play centre from the other side of the street, you can see what it is, but we have a uniform to wear and that's our, this is our day-to-day -day uniform. Um, are you going to keep on coming back? Myself personally, well, I don't know. It depends if I get sent here or not. But if you re if you remain open during these restrictions, then yeah, that that's the result that's going to happen. The police are going to have to continue to come out. It's going to be the same result. I don't consent into anything know, or any I've, sort I've of contract. I've got to explain that you've asked me. I'll, I've explained to you. I know you're telling me you don't you don't uh, understand. You don't consent. You don't want to in any contract. But I'm, I'm I'm explaining to you. Well, do you understand my stance? I understand that you're struggling. Yeah. And so do you stand you, under me? I don't know what that means, right? it's not doing making sense to me. Okay. Stand under you, I don't stand under you, you don't stand under me. Other than what I do for a living and what you do for a living, we are equal, aren't we? Unfortunately, my job means that I have to enforce whatever laws or restrictions are imposed by the government. So is this a law? It's a restriction. But is it a law? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What, what's the law? It's under the tier 3 restriction lockdown. Isn't when it? was that written? I don't know. Okay. Understand having already had the ticket issues, the uh, penalty issues, that these will continue to increase. I do not understand. You don't understand. So I do not was, understand. Was that explained to you yesterday? I just said I do not understand. Okay. I'll just ask you a different question here. Was that explained to you yesterday that the fines will continue to increase? Each time that they. I didn't consent to any fine. I didn't accept any fine. So I do not understand. Okay, this fine has been issued. It's been under. It's been issued under Regulation Four Five Subsection One C and Two of the Health Protection Coronavirus Local Nineteen Alert Level Very High England Regulations Twenty Twenty. 
I have to caution you, so you don't have to say anything, but in my army defence, if you're not mentioned now, she'll look you later on in court, and anything you do say may be given evidence. Would you like to make any other plan? What's your name, please, sir? Constable Broadbent. What's your name, please, sir? Constable McGovern. Is there a delay yet? Yeah? We're completing the uh, form at the moment, which will be a fixed penalty, which will be processed and you'll be contacted with regards to the amount and how to pay it. If you fail to pay it, you can just the I don't consent to it. Wait. I don't wish to enter into that contract. You understand that? It, it, it doesn't actually make any sense to myself in saying that, but this, this fixed penalty will be issued to you due to, as my colleagues explained. That's why I would have liked you to have read the sign on the door, Article 61 of the, the Magna Carta. Mm. Would you read it on the way out, please? Yeah, you've already asked us to, and my colleague said yes. Would you like a drink while you're waiting? No, 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 thank you. Thanks for that. Right, I've almost completed the form. I'll try to complete it with you refusing to give you details. However, it's not allowing me to, okay? Um, we want to try and keep this as low key as possible, okay? We want to do what we need to do, give you the advice we need to give. You either then take it or don't, and, and we leave, okay? It's not allowing me to complete the form without your personal details. Right. I'm not trying to bend your arm and force you, I'm just simply explaining. Because you're refusing to give me your details, I can't complete this form. So we're going to have to remain until we can resolve this issue. And if that means that we have to remain, speak to a supervisor, get someone else down here, which is what you don't want. You've already said you don't want the police coming here. Because for understandable reasons, you don't want the police at your place of business. Just think where we are, yeah, please. That's, what, that's, what I, that's why I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying to be reasonable with I you. I do not consent. I do not enter into any contract with you. I do not that's understand. Fine. And now... By you saying you want to remain, I'm going to say I feel a little bit intimidated and threatened now because right. there's no further action. What do you mean? What I say, you, you can't complete the form, so well, why are you here? You're telling me you don't understand some of the things I'm saying to you, and likewise, I'm struggling to understand some of the things you're saying to me, okay? Okay. Um, just because to me it doesn't make sense, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like complicate things or be difficult, I'm just being honest, like you're being quite honest with me. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just trying to issue with this. This, uh, penalty I know, but I said to you before. Did, did, at any point, at any at any point, have I said that this is a contract or an agreement? No, I haven't. And the reason that I haven't said that is because it is not a contract and it is not an agreement. All this is is you acknowledging the fact that you've received a fixed penalty notice. Not that you agree with it. Not that you admit to being guilty of any offences or committing any offences. But this is just if you were if you were stopped in the street <coughs> or you stopped driving your car and I gave you a ticket because you're driving whilst you're using your phone and I'll give you a fixed penalty notice then that's not you entering into agreements that's not you admitting any fault that is just you receiving your receipt of the police encounter 
and you being informed of what you're suspected of, of doing, and then later down the line, i.e. whether you have to go to court or you receive no further action, you'll be informed. So, like, that, that is just as simple as that. That's. I wouldn't um, accept that, though. Right, well, if you were to do that, if you were to refuse to accept, you'd be summoned to court, so we need to take your details, and if you wouldn't give your details, we'd have to verify who you are, and that would mean we'd have to take you to a police station, which is crazy, isn't it? All that for something that could be dealt with within two minutes. But I wouldn't accept that. So, you would have to take me to the police station? How have you verified me? Mr. Bradley York. I don't have to answer. Okay. Thank you. That Google? No. It's all police systems. Do you mind if I have a drink? No, no, you can have a drink. What's your address now, Mr. Rock? I don't wish to tell you that, sir. This is unbelievable, this. Surely you don't want to be here. Mr. O, as, as my colleagues explained to you as best as we possibly can, the law is, is the law, unfortunately. Okay, We don't have a say over the law, and we're just remaining impartial to this. Okay. I've never dealt with you before, or yourself. I've never been here before. No, There's absolutely no reason why either of us take any delight in dealing with you. Or all this property, this premises, okay, but unfortunately... I can tell you don't want to be here, it's... As, as my colleagues explained to you, uh, officers were out yesterday to this address, spoke to staff members, uh, a foot penalty was issued by yourself after being warned, and environmental health are, are aware of it and, and also involved with regards to this. It was themselves who have asked us to attend today. Environmental health were taking photographs of children with no permission. That's all we can't comment on. We don't represent the environmental health. We don't, I don't know who that was, so unfortunately I can't comment on that. This is intimidating now, the length of time that this is going on. Can, can we please Well, unfortunately, Mr. Orr, leave? if you'd have confirmed our details, your details earlier on, this would have been completed all quicker. Once this is completed, my colleague will ask you to sign it. It's up to yourself if you wish to sign it or not. No, thank you. I just want to make it clear to you that if, if you continue to keep your business open, then officers will continue to call and, and ultimately, uh, the fines will continue to increase. And I would like to make it clear, my stance will remain exactly the same. Okay. I don't wish to enter into any contract with you or anyone at government, and I don't consent, and I do not understand. Okay. Is there a crime here? Has there a well, crime taken there place? A law, there is a law that's been put in place. Is there a crime? Well, you by breaching these regulations, that is an offence. That's why we're here. That's why. We're so it's not a crime? Well, it is, isn't it? So who's the victim? The victim is the government, isn't it? The Regina, it's called. So there is a crime and there is a victim? It's an offence, isn't it? So you just said it's a crime and yeah. you said the government is so the it's victim. It's a law in place, so if you're not following that law, then it becomes a crime, isn't it? I disagree with that.
Um, I think we've tried to fully explain everything as best we can to you. I know you say you don't understand certain things. I don't think myself or my colleague are able to explain anything more to you any better than what we can to try and help you understand the things. You probably do understand, but... I don't. Me, okay, well, for, in my opinion, I believe you do, and for whatever reason, probably to protect your business, you're saying that you don't, and you, you, you say you don't enter into a contract, etc. that's fine. But before we leave, is there anything you want to ask us, anything you want to clarify, anything you're unsure of about why we're here and what we've done today? No. Okay. Right, Mr. Lord, um, as you've already been explained numerous times, your business is to, is to, uh, is to close, it's not to open. Um, if you continue to leave it open, you will receive further visits from the police, as the you've already explained. Um, that's a decision down to yourself, but you've got to be aware of, of what those consequences may be. I think again, we caught me and myself and my colleague have tried to explain that to you, the consequences are further visits from the police, which you said you don't want for obvious reasons, but as a result of your actions, that's what's happening. If you weren't doing this, the police wouldn't be here. It's a vicious circle, isn't it? Uh, as my colleague explained, the fines will more than likely increase. Up until what point, I don't know, so as we decide the fines, okay? Um, is there anything else you want to ask? No. Okay, and you're refusing to sign um, notice of your fixed penalty? I won't be I signing anything. It's not a contract, it's not an agreement, it's not a mission of guilt, it is just you're acknowledging the fact that you're going to be processed and potentially fined for, for keeping the business open when it's responsible. I don't acknowledge that and I won't be signing it. Okay, thanks very much for your time. Okay. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. Oh,